What's up folks, Dave Monte here from CircleTheDrink.com and today we're talking about uh, how much Monte should you drink on a daily basis. I get that question a lot so let's address that today. Right here we have my Stanley Thermos which is about well it's precisely 1.9 liters so roughly 2 liters of Monte. Uh, let's call that 8 cups I drink at least one of these a day, sometimes two. So you figure I drink anywhere between eight to 16 cups of mate per day uh, if you measure that by the amount of hot water that this holds for my trusted gourd right here. I add the hot water all throughout the day and I drink mate like this right from my gourd. Now I always like to reference Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Southern Brazil. These are the countries where mate is consumed the most. Uh, I was living in the southern cone of South America, that little end of ice cream cone area of, of South America for about three years and I've seen people drink mate like it was water. I've seen people drink sometimes three, four liters of mate a day every day and these are people who have been drinking mate more or less their entire lives so I always like to reference that experience uh, but I would say myself personally though there has been times where I did consume two to three liters of mate a day sometimes four liters a day over the years I've sort of throttled back and figured out that for me one to two liters a day is fine for me one of these a day it's fine for me, no problem. Maximum two, uh, but it's all up to you. It's up to your own body. Listen to yourself. A lot of times when people hear about mate, they don't know what it is. They don't know what to expect, so they get a little worried and they start thinking, oh, you know, can I overdose on mate? Can I overdose on it? Can I drink too much? Well, can you overdose on oregano? Can you overdose on mint tea? Can you overdose on parsley? That's what I like to think of as mate, just a simple herb. Yes, it's very powerful, it's a very potent drink. But it's just, it's just another herb. Uh, yes, do your research, do your own investigations into it, but I think people get a little bit of, get a little paranoid when they find out about something new a new herb and they start getting worried. Put it this way, do some research on mate. Uh, you'll see that it's a very powerful drink, very healthy. It kind of crushes green tea and black tea when it comes to health. Uh, it certainly crushes coffee when it comes to health and uh, without any of the deleterious effects that you get with coffee like jitters and crashing and feeling nervous and anxious. Mate actually does the opposite. It makes you feel calm, makes you feel uh, just smooth, level-headed. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of research talking about mate with cancer. Uh, I already addressed that in a very detailed video that I produced last year called uh, Yerba Mate and Cancer. Just Google that and, and you'll find the Circle of Drink research on that. There's a video associated with that research. Uh, now if you're drinking mate from a French press or a teapot, I like to tell people to reuse the mate. So say you use a 32 ounce uh, Bodum French press, the best French press you could use. Uh, you use about, let's say, 30 grams of mate, okay? And you fill up that French press, that 32 ounce French press. You're gonna get your four cups and then keep the herb inside the French press, add another you know, 32 ounces and brew a whole nother batch with the same mate, no problem. Do the same thing for a teapot, no problem. Mate is very flexible. It has a lot of uh, strength to it, so you could use it uh, several times for different brews. Uh, so that's it. This is just a video addressing how much mate you should drink every day. Just to recap, I drink at least two liters of mate a day. That's for me. I feel no problem doing that. I've been doing that for at least five years. Uh, in Argentina, they drink about three to four liters a day per person, which is a lot of mate. They're just used to it. And they seem to be doing fine with it. 
and if you're using a French press or you're using a teapot, uh, go ahead and reuse the mate. You could get at least two brews, sometimes three brews, just like how you would rebrew uh, high quality green tea. No problem, same thing with mate. All right, guys, so if you have any questions, check me out at uh, circleofdrink.com. Find one of our pages on Facebook. Uh, just type in Circle of Drink on Facebook. You'll find one of our groups. And, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, just go ahead and comment below this video if you uh, have any questions or feedback. And, uh, of course, if you want to get some mate, check us out at circleofdrink.com. We offer all sorts of plans, gourds, bombichas, everything that you need to get started with mate, plus education. All right, guys, my name is Dave Mate. Just signing in. Happy to make one of these face-to-face -face videos. It's been a while since we just kept it simple. Just made a simple video like this. Uh, and I hope to produce more videos like this uh, throughout the year. All right, guys. I love you. Ciao.